Hey YouTube and my subscribers, JC18904 here with on how to install homemade studs in your Traxxas BF Goodrich mud terrain tires. Now, what I've done to figure out my pattern, I went online and I typed in uh, BF Goodrich mud terrain TAs with studs and it actually brought up a result of these tires with. Um, I think it had chains on it, but it still showed like the studs and the tires. And I found a picture without the chain and the tires, and I went with this studded pattern because I thought this would be better. Now, for the thumbtacks I'm using, they come in a clear case like this. I mean, it's about that thick about uh, wide is my camera on my phone. Now, here's what they look like. They come with white bottoms and they're about that tall. So you guys can see that. Now, just take and mark the pattern onto your tire which mine's just slightly wore off but I can still see it there but the camera won't pick it up so what I'm going to do is take and start on the sides by going with the uh, blank squares all the way around where it comes up over to the top part and I use them to put my studs in and to give a better look just simply push it in like this a little bit then pull the sidewall around like this and you'll see that rubber bulge out so what you want to do is just squeeze on that and you should see that stud come through and be careful not to poke yourself in the finger because these do hurt now just simply pull the sidewall around and look for a little tiny pinhole that looks like that right there and just push the end of that thumbtack into that hole. Just gently push on it until you feel it come through the tire. I have my thumb back here so I can feel it. I want to do is just simply bring that around and just shove it through. Then, after you get that one in, you go straight across to this side. Go with a blank square. Take another thumbtack, do the same exact thing, repeat the steps over for both sides, and just pull it back through, and look for that pinhole, and you see it starting to come along. Now, for the center, you may know it's got like this funky pattern here. So what I'm doing is I'm going one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, then right here between this tread here and this piece of tread, I'm gonna put the stud right between these two where they come together. So that'll be like almost right in the center of the tire. Now just simply push on that a little bit until you can start to feel something bulging on the other side. Just simply pull the sidewall around and sometimes that will pop through there just like that. Now this tire is still light with all these thumbtacks in here which turned out really awesome. I didn't think it was going to be light, but it is. So, it's still the same weight with the foam and everything. It's still real light. But, as you can see, that it looks like a V-shape all the way around. And it turns out really well. Then, after you get them all in, you just want to take the super glue like this. I screwed a cap. I had to cut this top down. 
but take the nozzle and place it underneath the edge of the thumbtack. Just push it back through a little bit and just smear the super glue up around inside the thumbtack. Then after you do that, you just want to push and hold around. You want to make sure you get all that glue in around on that thumbtack so that you have a good stick and hold spot. And after you do that, you should be set to go on all of them thumbtacks, which I didn't glue that in. I just showed you guys how to do it. But the tips on these are very fine, and it makes it easy to get in there. That was just an empty tube. Well, that one's messed up too. But the uh, super glue nozzles are very simple to use. Um, for my foam, I told you guys I was going to show you the uh, foam. I let this uh, sit out in the sun because after I tried the boiling hot water method, it was all saturated with water and stuff like that. So I had to actually cut the foam off the rim, as you can see here, because tractors glued the foam on. I guess they've done that by accident, but the foam's uh, still alright, and it actually is fatter than what it used to be, because I took a look at it before I cut it off and dried it out, and it was, let's see if I can get it to stay here for just a quick second, but you could see this part of the rim on both sides like that and you can see how that expanding back over it so what I done is after I put it all back together I noticed that it had a sidewall after it was done I'll show you guys what I mean if you take a look at this tire here you see that it barely has any sidewall now if you take a look at this tire back here you can see a sidewall, which is pretty cool. And it even actually lifted the truck up off the ground, and the tire is not touching yet. So I can't wait to try these out. Now, if you guys want, just let me know, and I will do a test video, which I'm going to test it first on a race check down behind the house, then test it on the like rock crawling course I made for this truck and I'm really going to test it on that to see how it does and it's not a very big rock crawling course probably just about uh, long enough to go from down behind the house up beside our house and into the street but I tried it in the grass and it just tore up the grass I mean I done it just to, with the one tire on there and one of them bow ties and you can see where it ripped the grass up off the ground and I can't wait to get it tried out but it's been cold weather I haven't been able to do any running videos but I will have some coming up probably this weekend for you guys I'm going to try to do a little bit more different stuff for you so just stay tuned on that but I have a channel shout out video next and some Vellenium van tips for the four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive on what to get. Just uh, stay tuned for more videos. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, comment down below. Like, Hit the like button and subscribe up top. And we'll see you guys later. And peace.